In the last few videos, we talked about arithmetic and geometric progressions and we saw various formulas associated with those. In this video, we will be looking at other series and some formulas related to the addition of terms in those series. So let's get started. If you have a question which asks you to get the sum of n natural numbers, so there is a formula for this and the formula is n into n plus 1 by 2. If they ask you the sum of squares of natural numbers till n, then the formula is n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by 2n plus 1 divided by 6. And if it's a sum of cubes of natural numbers, then the formula becomes 1 by 4 times n square times n plus 1 the whole square. So I have a question here. 31 plus 32 plus 33 till 40. What's the sum of these terms? If you observe the first term, it can be written as 30 plus 1. And the second term can be written as 30 plus 2. The third term can also be written as 30 plus 3. In this way, we can separate out 30s from each term. So the last term can be written as 30 plus 10, which is equal to 40. So basically, the question is of an arithmetic progression type. And you can always use the formulas related to arithmetic progression in such type of questions. But if you solve it using this formula, the first one, the sum of natural numbers, it will also be easier for you. Actually, we are separating out 30s on the left hand side and the sum of natural numbers on the right hand side. So this way, we can separate out 30 on the left hand side. There are actually 10 terms of 30. So this becomes 10 into 30 plus a series of natural numbers. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus till it goes to 10. Now we can solve this using the formula 10 into 30 becomes 300 plus this formula is n into n plus 1 by 2 and where n is equal to 10. Now we can put the value of n in the formula and get the answer. So 300 plus 10 into n plus 1 is 11 by 2. So 2 5s are 10. Now this becomes 300 plus 55 which is equal to 355. So the answer to this question is second option. With this we have another question. So to solve this question we need to find out how we can convert this to match one of these three formulas. So if you observe carefully, this can be written as 1 plus 4 is 2 square, 9 is 3 square, so plus 3 square plus 4 square till we have 49, which is 7th square. So now we have some pattern that matches with our formula number 2, this formula. So the formula for a series of squares of natural numbers till n is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 the whole divided by 6 where n is equal to 7 so let's put the value of n in the formula and get the answer so this becomes 7 into 7 plus 1 is 8 into 2n 2 into 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15 divided by 6 now let's cancel out terms from this expression uh, we can divide this, the numerator and the denominator by 2. 2 4s are 8 and 2 3s are 6. Now again this 3 can be cancelled out. 3 1s are 3, 3 5s are 15. So this is 7 into 4 into 5. So 5 4s are 20 into 7. So 7 into 20. Now this becomes 140. So the answer is second option, 140. Now let's solve another question. What could be the answer for this question? You just have to replace these series with formulas and solve it. So let's actually see those formulas, what formulas we need to apply. So, so this is the sum of cubes of natural numbers till 5. So the formula is this one, 1 by 4 into n square into n plus 1 the whole square. So let's write it. 
1 by 4 into n square into n plus 1 the whole square divided by this is a series of natural numbers till 5 so this is n into n plus 1 by 2 now we can evaluate this we can cancel out n because both the numerator and denominator have the same number of terms we can cancel out n so this n gets cancelled out with this n this is n square which becomes n raised to 1 and this n plus 1 get, can get cancelled out with with this n plus 1 now we have 1 by 4 into n into n plus 1 divided by 1 by 2. Now that comes out n into n plus 1 divided by this 2 and this 4 can get cancelled out. So this is 2, this is 1. Now the answer is quite simple. You just have to put the value of n. Here n equals to 5. So just put the value of n. 5 into 5 plus 1 by 2 that is 5 into 6 by 2 and which comes out to be 15 so the answer is first option 15